bloody massive whiting. Get a load of this guy. And you end up with two nice fillets like that. Well, morning everybody. Uh, another glorious day here on the bit beach. chilly this morning. Um, up a little earlier than I had been the last couple of days. Um, yeah, just sort of had a, had a good night's sleep. We didn't have any um, any intruders through the night wandering through the place. So Pippa, my dog, was pretty um, pretty quiet and, and contented. Just got some uh, breakfast sorted and a cup of coffee and so forth. Um, just about to get a bit of gear ready and go and do the final run on these crab pots. Um, I'll, I'll pull them in today. They'll be covered in muck and muck and stuff so I'll have to try and clean them up a little bit. Um, I'm gonna slip up home and uh, grab a friend that's gonna come and stay for um, the night. Yeah, give her a look around the beach and um, I don't think she's been here. I'm gonna grab a couple of ingredients and there's a, there's a fish dish that I've sort of started cooking over the last few weeks. So. I might do that up and, and show you um, what, what it's all about for, for dinner so tonight. Yeah, I'll go and go and get those pots might in. Might even just tie them to a tree here tonight and let the let the night tide go over them and that'll uh, that'll clean up what I don't get off this morning. Okay, what's uh, what have we got in store for us today? Zippo, not a damn right, last thing. throw of the dice. Nothing in this one we miss out for this trip. Yeah, no, it might be a lucky pot. But it's not. I'm but a smelly fish head. Whew. Well, no surprises There's there. One thing. They're, not, they're not too dirty. So um, I'm back out in front of the camp here now. I'm just going to... Um, disassemble the pots and tie them to one of the trees here and they'll get a bit of a wash on this tide hopefully and uh, they might smell a little bit better go and throw a line in back on that on that bend up there it's actually called cattle point and uh, there's a couple of gutters there and might even use up a few of those yabbies i got left from yesterday and for an hour or so i've got a fair bit of time to kill before um, i can get off the beach and and pick that up anyway so i may as well do a bit of that for a little while i've got a south westerly blowing so it's the same same westerly winds we've had for the last couple of days so it is supposed to get around to the south a little bit i think as the day goes on so you know but um anyway i'll go and give that a try well i'll throw my first cast in i'm out in the middle of this gutter here fighting for a position with the stingrays there um they're working their way up here there's one lad out in front of me about eight meters I give them a bit of a scare there walking through the water so they're up here chasing bait getting a feed so hopefully a few whiting will poke oh, up here. fish on i've just moved out to the front of this gutter it looks like it's a half decent fish i'm not sure what it is though it's down low like it's, it might be a flathead or something is it oh it's a bloody massive whiting get a load of this guy Holy smokes. Hey. Way he was going. See that fish? Yeah, that's a warning, guys. Hey. That's a beauty. Where have you guys been for the last couple of days? Hey, I am either just struck the patch. I'll put it, won't bother measuring him, but I will later on just to get a size on him. Wow, that's incredible. That's a good whiting. 
about time though flat out get my hand around him huge <laughs> yeah good fish I thought he was staying low he was like a flathead running along the bottom I'll get him in the bag before I end up running well, again I don't think this guy's as big as the other one but um, not not really biting madly at least they're there and he's certainly not as big as that other guy he might be flat out being legal this fella yeah I'm sure he won't be but anyway at least I'm getting a couple of couple of fish I haven't got two a day since I've been down here so that's a that's a big start unfortunately there's only one of those big whiting I've got another smaller one and then another really little tiny one after that but um, this guy's a good a good 33 centimeter whiting goes to show or a good example of what we can get off the beach when they're when they're biting and the and the conditions are right so I would have let him go but I've kept him too long now and so I'll, I'll fill him up and I like to scale just scale the whiting and fill them sometimes I'll fuck around and do a butterfly fill them and find a knife as good as anything to, to scale whiting I know, just give it a bit of a wash off Sides off, he's a bit wild as I've filled the morning too. <laughs> I don't seem to do much of that fishing much anymore, but I'll have to get into it. At least you've got a decent, decent sized fish with a decent fillet. Whiting, anyway. here anyway roll pin bones in there like that and you end up with two nice fillets like that oh. one is a fair bit better than the other anyway if I was crabbing still I'd uh Put that in the crab pot too, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm done with the crab and I've had enough of that. Anyway, guys, that's uh, I'll give them a wash and stick them in a, in a in a bag and stick them in my fridge. Decide what to do with them later on, but uh, could be fishing eggs in the morning or something. Quickly slipped home and grabbed a few things and picked up a passenger who's going to uh, stay YouTube. tonight. YouTube, meet Nat. <laughs> Hello, YouTube. I'll get a bit of wood for tonight. I think it's going to be a bit cold, so we're going to jump on the quad and go and sneak some logs back here. Oh, <laughs> 
Fish is all going white, the noodles are softening. Yeah. Smells lovely, doesn't it, Nat? It smells great. I don't know whether she's telling the truth or not, but we're going to find out. 